So let's do granite to do our crystal cards. Uh, and in that we should be, we should win some things, right? So let's queue up to play. Granite is by far, uh, I think my favorite deck is one of my favorite combo, or I'm sorry, buff based decks. Uh, and it really is. The whole time you're just dirtling. Uh, I've seen a few people online try and play it who didn't really necessarily understand the concept, right? The whole point of the deck is to dirtle. You don't want to do anything um, until your deck is empty and then you just want to pop off. You want to have both your um, shattered volcanoes out. Uh, you, if you need a crushing blow first, you can crush and blow. Um, And if you, you're not gonna crush a blow, Wrath of the Mountain should do it. Uh, with two Shattered Volcanoes out, the seven and seven is 14, Wrath of the Mountain do. 12 plus another five is 17. 14 and 17 is, uh, uh, I don't know how many. I don't, I don't math it. 31, something like that. Uh, and then you just finish them off with something. All right, let's play out our Ancient Miner for Right? We can't dirt alone unless we're drawing cards. And turn draw one. Uh, focus chamber will be good. Uh, it helps us draw cards. Geode hatchling if they remove this. Uh, Ancient Miner is great. Um, I'm going to start off with Jantosian Blacksmith here. And let's grab... They seem pretty aggressive. Let's grab our Forge Wall first. Uh, Spin Blade is in there. It can't be increased by Granite's ability, but what it does for you is it gives you an action. So if you get super grindy towards the end of the game, you have an action that you can do every turn uh, to slow yourself down uh, from getting decked, as it were, right? Because we're going to accelerate through our deck. Okay, that's fine there. Uh, we've got Tyrax Fixers and Emergency Systems in here to help us heal up. Right now, we'll probably burn a Boulder Feast or two. Uh, cause he's, he's super aggressive. Alright. So that's what we were talking about. We removed it, we'll play Geo Hashling, we'll get it back. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and play a Boulder Feast, just because he's playing really aggressive. I don't wanna get caught with a little life total. Uh, he's only got three cards in hand, right? We're sitting pretty... Yeah, I'm not too worried about anything he's going to do. That's fine. He's going to draw some cards. We'll draw a card off of Ancient Miner. See what it looks like. Tyrax Fixer. Perfect. We're turned on because of our Forge Wall. So next time we drop below, we don't have to burn a Boulder Feast. Um, let's go ahead and draw two. What are we looking for? Um, I think we want... We're set up pretty good right now. I would like uh, Emergency Systems. Uh, maybe an Exterior Defender. Um, some mountain forts would be good. Um, let's see what he's gonna do in here. Produce damage received by tap, do one damage to the attack, we can attack. That's fine, we're not gonna attack him. We're not. There's an emergency systems. Let's play that out. Let's draw one. And then, uh, when this buff expires, uh, we'll pick it up with Geode Hatchling, and then we'll play Exterior Defender to help protect it. This is turning out great already. Draw two. Seems fine. Alright, we're gonna take uh we take some damage here uh, from this because of his ramparts. Uh, and then we're gonna play out an exterior defender to protect our ancient miner and our emergency systems protect our life total here. So we are sitting pretty right now. Welcome to the viewer. I can't tell who you are, but know that I appreciate you so much. Uh, we are evolving here as a stream, as I've said before. Um, we've, we have two, three, four. Um, we've had a lot uh, in the stream recently. Uh, so let's play Geode Hatchling again for our exterior defender back, and then we'll play out a mountain fort as well. Uh, we're really burning through our Geo Hatchlings early. 
that's fine. Uh, I didn't want to tick through a mountain fort, that's why I played it in this order, by the way. Uh, this protects our, our buffs here, this exterior defender. Uh, it cancels their next attack, and in uh, tech deck, uh, that's going to be Crazed Bomber, which is an attack card. That's their buff removal. The only buff removal we have to worry about that's not an attack uh, comes from Storm. That is Thunder Slug, and it is a pain in the butt. Uh, okay, I don't see anything I want to play right now. Uh, we have these focus chambers to draw cards um, and put action buffs into play. I really want them to um, combo, though, to maximize this, right? I want to be able to draw two instead of just draw one. So let's end turn draw two. These crystal leeches are kind of dead. They could be used to pay for combos. Um, they're really not doing much because he hasn't had too much, uh, too many buffs out. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Let's see here. At the start of your turn, deal two damage to your target and take one damage. Uh, defendability, two healing, and remove this buff. So, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Let's, uh, let's crystal leech this and then draw a card. Let's see where we're at. We need to see more mountain forts. We need to see more ancient miners. Um, we're not seeing what we need to see here. We got some boulder feasts in hand. We got a Tyrax fixer, so we can, you know, he can burn us down a little bit uh, before we need to start working, right? And turn draw two. That's it. We're just gonna draw go. There's an ancient miner. Two ancient miners. Exactly what we want to see. Turns out we have superiority. Uh, I'm hesitant to play out both. Okay, he's gonna spin down our uh, mountain fort, that's fine. Yeah, I'm hesitant to play out both. I don't want to play into our buffer removal. We have burned through our geode hashlings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play one out and then draw a card. Right, I don't want to get crazed bomber here. Uh, if, we, if we had an exterior defender or two, I'd feel more comfortable. There's another mountain fort, that's great. We'll play another mountain fort and draw a card next turn. If we had played both out, we would have really got punished there. So that's fine. Uh, that's two crazed bombers for him. So he's only got one left in the deck. Uh, 19 cards. He's got three in hand. I'm comfortable playing both uh, Mountain Four and Ancient Miner out. In these circumstances, it may be correct uh, to use Focus Chamber to kind of churn through cards, right? He's not planning on comboing anytime soon, so they're, we don't want to just hold on to them to hold on to them. Um, that being said, every now and then you need an extra crystal card to uh, pay for a last second combo if your Wrath of the Mountain didn't get them. So um, we'll see. These Focus Chambers are also good to, good to play cards that you don't have superiority for, right? So if I want to get both Shattered Volcanoes out in one turn, that's great. This is exactly what we need. We're going to play that out right now. If I wanted to get both Shattered Volcanoes out in one turn, I would play a Focus Chamber to drop a Shattered Volcano into play, and then I'd play the other Shattered Volcano, right? That's the way to get around not having superiority uh, in this deck for times like that, right? So they're very... Uh, they're very much utility cards, and we want to make sure we're using them as such. Uh, welcome to the viewers. There we go. Cancel that attack. Let's make sure he's... I really don't want to get that third crazed bomber here. It would feel pretty punishing. Tinkerbot, let's see what you're doing here. Draw one card when the center is playing defendability. Return X of your other tech action buffs to your hand. Well, we don't... So, Crystal Leech. Dead X Warrior, uh, not yet. Uh, challenge me in a, in, a, in a little bit. We're in the middle of a game right now. All right, there's another mount. It feels good. Let's see what his play is. We're playing this deck pretty tight. Uh, we need Crystal cards. <laughs> Uh, for the for the chat. So. Right, we're down to 16. It's not enough to turn on our Tyrax fixer yet. Uh, I'm not convinced we need to Boulder Feast, uh, but I don't want to risk it, so I am going to Boulder Feast. Uh, let's focus chamber first, though. Right? He comboed us last turn. 
So we're going to draw two and put some into play. Emergency systems seems great. Um, man, remember that time I was like, we should boulder feast? I don't think we should boulder feast anymore. Let's emergency systems. Exterior defender. And then we can mountain fort. Yeah. We'll mount for it next turn. We got our uh, doing mount for this turn. Let's exterior defender. Let's protect the mount for we have in play. He does have one more crazy bomber in the deck. Okay. <laughs> so this deck runs two emergency systems and one Tyrax fixer uh, with spin blade and mountain forge as the items. Whew. Okay, so yeah, let's put that mount fort out. Keep ourselves def well defended. Uh, and we'll just enter and draw one. I'm not too worried about a life total because of my emergency systems. Uh, at this point, we can spend our blacksmith to get the spin blade out of our hand. Um, and we'll probably do that. Uh, the reason you would want to hold on to it is if you're playing a red deck, you have crushing blow, you want to be able to go get your other item. Or if they have sideboarded uh, weapon masters and they can tuck your items, uh, you want to be able to fetch them back out. Uh, coming out with Kindred, there are two more cards that interact with items. One is in red, it is a mountain card, uh, and the other one is a colorless, and I assume will be in everyone's sideboard. Uh, it may very well be a main deck card. Okay, so we are here. Now, this is the end game for Granite. We have completely drawn all of our cards. We'll see what that is in a second. He's still got 12 cards left in deck. I'm assuming he hasn't seen his other crazed bomber yet. So what we're gonna do, let's see here, do we care about EVs? Deal X damage to your target. When this buff leaves play, take three damage. Three, 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 so he's gonna hurt himself here. Deal damage to your target, restart this when you take one or more damage. I don't care about either of these right now. I'm gonna use the focus chamber to put the shattered volcano into play. And then I'm going to play the other shattered volcano. And then next turn, we're gonna combo for the with Wrath of the Mountain. Right, we're protected behind Exterior Defender uh, as far as buff removal goes. He's got one more in the deck. He doesn't seem to have it. So let's see what he does. He's drawn to, that's, that's GG's, right? Give him the good game. Don't know if he knows what's going on yet. Let's play Wrath of the Mountain. This should 32 him. Uh, we'll use Crushing Blow and an extra Crystal card. And that should be that, yeah? Seven. There's 14. There's 17. We're, he's down to one. And he's going to three himself at the beginning of next turn. See, I did my math wrong there. Uh, if I had been paying attention, I probably would have paid for Crushing Blow with um, Wrath of the Mountain so that I could draw it back off the card. Um, any mountain card will kill him right now. Just, just kidding. Two mountain cards will kill him right now. So we can Boulder Feast, Boulder Feast. How many cards do we have in our deck? One. So let's focus chamber to draw that card. Yeah, if I'd been paying attention, if I could math at all, I would have led with Crushing Blow, paid for with Wrath of the Mountain to finish the game. Uh, I mean, do we just want to Crystal Leech these out and then deal with it next turn? Boulder Feast. Uh, we can. It's Crystal Leech. I'm sorry. Uh, Boulder Feast. Fine. I'm not paying attention right now. Okay, that's fine. What I was worried about was... Good game. Crystal Core, and then... And then oh yeah, I forgot he played Crystal Core, too. He is really playing it tight right now. Alright, we've got two more chances to kill him here. 
He's got a Leeching Scimitar up, not a Crystal Core. This should be a Blacksmith. He needs a Blacksmith here. Crazed Bomber, these two away. That would be a good play. That's fine. That's fine. So, I was debating on what we could play. I thought we needed the Crystal Leech. Uh, that's why I didn't want to play it, to pay for Crushing Blow. We do have Stream of Tantos in hand. So let's go ahead and play Crushing Blow, pay for it with Stream of Tantos. And it'll be an excessive amount of damage. Good game. Okay, so we got half our uh, half our crystal cards. Let's see. Um, since we've got a friend online, but it's not showing who it is. Is it? Friends. It was Dead X Warrior? He's online front end. We can challenge him. Let's see if he wants to play. Uh, I know this guy. He's a buddy of mine from uh, the local game store. There we go, he accepted the challenge. So let's let's get ready to play uh, Granny here. And uh, we'll see if we can finish off this, uh, see if we can finish off this daily combo, this daily mission here. Thanks guys for being in the stream, appreciate you watching. Uh, okay, oh, he's playing his Captain Blacktail deck, I'm familiar. Uh, it's pretty aggressive, it should not be too aggressive. Um, I don't want to lead off on emergency systems, but I do want to go ahead and get my forge wall out. So as soon as it becomes our turn, there we go. We can uh, blacksmith for our forge wall. <clears throat> That's going to reduce damage received by one if we have 15 or less health. We'll go ahead and draw two. Uh, exterior defender emergency system seems good. Our health just isn't low enough right now. Uh, we'll continue to draw until we hit some ancient miners, uh, mountain forts, things of that nature. We really want to play those out and then protect them with exterior defender and uh, gain health when we need them. But that's fine. Alright, let's draw two. Enter, draw two. Draw go, as we say. There we go, that's nice. So we can Ancient Miner, um, Exterior Defender, and then we'll Geohatching back the Ancient Miner uh, when we need to. So let's Ancient Miner, and Exterior Defender. Mind you, Captain Black Hill has access to Wind, uh, which I believe is what so this is a, a dangerous game we're playing here, right? Yeah, we could easily be playing into a thunderstorm. And we're not right now, which is good for us. So there's another blacksmith. Let's play out our uh, emergency systems. Let's, let's play out our blacksmith first. We'll get all our items up. Uh, I'm not afraid of getting an item removed. Uh, I know the deck. Uh, and let's go ahead and emergency systems. Yeah, it's, it's, I, you know, you have a slight advantage when you know the person uh, you're playing. You know their deck. You've seen it during your local game store's um, constructed events. Big fan of the deck. Pretty good deck. I've never played Granite against it, so uh, we'll see how it stacks up. That's fine. We need to find a Crystal Leech for that immediately. Uh, yeah, we really do. 14 damage uh, would be a busta. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this Focus Chamber. It's turned on because he has a combo buff in play. There's another one for next turn, and there's a Crystal Leech. So... 
two things first thing. That played out our Shattered Volcano automatically because it's not an option to put a buff in play. Um, which is unfortunate. We're going to have to Crystal Leech next turn uh, because we don't have superiority in the Crystal Element and I don't want that to go off. It's greedy to try and focus Chamber into that. Um, the other thing this is going to do is it's going to turn off our Geo Hatchling, which we would really like to use for our Ancient Liner. We just can't do it. We have to play conservatively. We're not willing to take 14 and go to 6. Uh, and let's just draw a card. So we draw two. There's another Ancient Liner. That's fine. That's great for us. A couple turns and our Geo Hatchling will be back kind of stressful being down at 20 so quick. He's going to draw two. That's great. Uh, we have a Boulder Feast to back us up. I'm considering playing it. Right? And just getting some value out of this uh, so that it doesn't get Thunder Slug without doing anything. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see what, what plays he's got here. It would seem to me he's playing around. There's that Thunder Slug, that annoying Thunder Slug. Let's see what he goes for. That's fine. We'll draw a card off of um, Geode Hat or uh, Ancient Miner before I'm assuming this will tick and it'll it'll hit again. I'm assuming he's going to go for uh, Ancient Miner plus one of these two. Probably Exterior Defender, so he can start laying into us again. That Those would be my choices if I had to pick Thunder Slug. Uh, targets, it would be Ancient Miner, so he didn't draw extra cards. And it drew right to an Ancient Miner, that's great. Um, yeah, I don't want to Geode Hatchling. Uh, the Shattered Volcano, let's draw. There's another Exterior Defender and a Mount for it. Okay, we're in business. We'll let that Thunder Slug rotate. You can pick whatever he wants. Uh, we've got replacements for pretty much everything except for uh, emergency systems. Oh, so he's gonna let us draw the cards. That's very interesting. Uh, so we'll draw two next turn. I'm seriously considering using this Geode Hatchling on an emergency system and then playing out the other Ancient Miner, or perhaps protecting it with Exterior Defender. Uh, and Mountain Four would also be the right play. I think we just want to draw cards. Let's see where we're at card-wise here. 14. I think we want to just draw cards. Um, I don't think I want both Ancient Miners out of so let's Geo Hatchling back our Ancient Miner. And then play Exterior Defender and make him play around it. Really in the tank, our opponent. There he goes, Avalanche. All of their attack cards, that's fine. There's not that many. Messes up our planes a little bit. I think we go Ancient Miner, Exterior Defender, or Ancient Miner Mountain Fort. Uh, but we did get comboed last turn, so let's see what we do here. This is tricky. Let's uh, let's focus Chamber. Because we got comboed last turn. And then we'll put into play with that uh, an Exterior Defender. And then we will play on top of that our other Ancient Miner. That'll let us continue to draw cards. Uh, and then I'm thinking Geode Hatchling back the Ancient Miner uh, if we get the, sh the chance and then play out the Mountain Fort. Uh, no, we'll play out the Emergency Systems. We're, we're lower on health. We need to heal up. Okay, looks like he's gearing up for something. Uh, I don't think that changes our plans, right? Let's 
let's geode hatchling back. The ancient miner. And play out the emergency systems. Right, because it's probably gonna be a attack combo. Or I'm sorry, yeah, an attack combo here. Which will turn on our focus chamber. We'll be able to mount for it uh, off of focus chamber and geode hashling something back. It was just gonna draw. It seems wasteful. He, he must not he must have realized what was going on here with that. Okay, let's um let's play out a mountain for it. Two mountain forts in hand, Tyrax Fixer in hand, Focus Chamber Geode Hashlings. We're sitting pretty. We've got the wall up, right? We're, we're in a very defensive position. We're dirtling away just like we want to be. We're drawing cards for days. I'm probably Geode Hashling back that uh, Ancient Miner next turn. He's drawing, he's looking for, for answers, as uh, is expected. Uh, and we get there we go. And we landed a crystal leech in case he tries any funny business. So we'll go ahead and play Geode Hatchling. Get that back in. Let's run out another mountain fort. No qualms about it. Right, we're super protected right now. We're stopping six incoming damage. We're healing for seven off of an attack. Uh, we're gonna draw one next turn. We're gonna geode hashing back in the ancient miner again. We're canceling his next attack. We have a massive wall of buffs up. Uh, that's just really gonna be hard for him to interact with. He needs a thunder slug. Yeah, he needs a thunder slug to do anything right now. Uh, I didn't. I missed what uh, ele what element he has access to, and I can't tell. I can't tell via the game. Uh, if anyone knows how to tell what element they've put up, please uh, hop in chat and let me know. I would, I would love to find out. Um, do I even care to Crystal Leech this right now? Uh, we have two Mountain Forts out. I think we just draw a card. Five left. We're going to draw three and then two, so we can go ahead and uh, put out our Shattered Volcanoes. Let's see, we have one, we have one in hand. He's at 29, so we can get him with just a Wrath of the Mountain. We really, we need, yeah, we'll draw all our, the rest of our deck over the next, uh, Party picks before we start talking about them. Um, that's I mean, it's fine. We're gonna draw a bunch of cards over the next two turns. How many cards we got left? Two in deck. We'll draw those two next turn. Let's uh. Trying to figure out how to if we can get him next turn. We'll draw those two at the beginning of the turn. So let's get uh, Shattered Volcano out. We don't have both. We only have one. Did the other one get destroyed? We only have one. Yeah, we only have one. Okay, let's get our Shattered Volcano out then. And there's Wrath of the Mountain for next turn. Let's get this out. So we're going to have to crushing blow first uh, to get the damage that we need done. Uh, let's, uh, let's get this out of the way. Let's buff. Oh, we just, we did that. We did do that, didn't we? Let's heal up a touch then. Let's heal up a touch just to be safe. don't want to underestimate. We really want to make sure we're, um, we've protected ourselves, right? Well, I don't know. He's got plenty of cards in hand. Could be anything. And he's going to draw. That's fine for us. We're going to Crushing Glow. Draw 
draw the last card in our deck. It's a boulder feast. So we're gonna crushing blow first, paying with Wrath of the Mountain. This is what I was talking about earlier. So that we can draw Wrath of the Mountain for next turn. Off the combo. So we already have Okay, so he had Rock Maul. Uh, just superiority in Earth. Okay. Not familiar enough with some of the items. I should have probably been able to recognize that. And look at what card we drew. Alright. So, he has to kill us this turn. Okay. And we'll go ahead and pay for it with Stream of Tantos and a Crystal Beach. Let's watch the magic happen. Uh, Crystal Leech. Yeah, we could have paid for it with, uh, no, that was it. <coughs> Excuse me. So you really do have to make sure you're not spending all your crystal cards. This happens more often than you think. Where you need a crystal card to finish the game. To pay for a combo. Alright, good game. Let's see uh let's see where we're at. That should have been ten. guys for being in the stream really appreciate it uh y'all have been great uh if you miss any of the stream uh we were having some connectivity issues before they'll all be uploaded to youtube at the youtube channel some sort of concord i'm the everblind this is some sort of concord i really appreciate you guys joining me <clears throat> let's see if we can finish off our daily here uh both dailies with one more game that would be fantastic wouldn't it i really for a while, I didn't want to play Granite. It felt so oppressive that it was just unfair. Um, it, it, this is the exact deck list that won 2018 uh, Nationals in the UK. Um, but I've seen, I've seen it flown around, and there's not a lot of good pilots for it. It's a deck that has to be played a certain way. Hopefully, my, my hope is I've demonstrated that for you guys. Um, you know, this is a dirtle and do nothing deck, right? Build up your defenses uh, and then wait until the end of the game. And you have to get to the end game while they're still in the mid game, right? That's the whole point of the deck. Ooh, wow, coming in hot. Flame Fist Umbra. Alright, let's blacksmith first. So we can turn on emergency systems with Forge Wall because this guy's coming out swinging. Um, two actions left. Uh, I think we just draw from here. Right, we're digging for a crystal. Next turn, I think we will emergency systems since we're low enough now. Uh, and, and let's geode hash it back in our ancient mine, okay? Let's do that. Let's emergency systems. And geode hashing back in our ancient mine. So, 
two or more fire buffs. So his ability is on right now. He's got one card in hand. Yeah, he's gonna have to draw two. That's fine. Crystal Leech is the card. Uh, you know, he's looking for a mount for it. Seems great. I feel like playing it and drawing a card. And we have Tyrax Fixer when he hits us for 10. We've got Boulder Feasts. We're gonna be all right, guys. We are gonna be all right. Oh, it's an attack ability? That's fine. <sighs> Reading the card explains the card. So, Soul. So, I'm assuming he's got a uh, Mimicking Horror die deck here. See, these are both going to rotate out. So, we're going to hold on to Crystal Leech. Let's, um... Play out another ancient miner. Uh, do we have defense? We don't need defense for it. It's fine. We need to draw cards, right? If it gets removed, it gets removed. Let's play out ancient miner uh, and draw a card. There's the defense for it. <clears throat> it's got two cards in hand. Uh, the chances of one of them being a crystal leech are higher than zero. It's a non-zero sum. He's drawing cards. That's fine. That's great for us. Uh, we're going to draw a card here, and we're probably going to exterior defender to break his... Oh, man. Couldn't have drawn it up better. All right. Geode hashing back that ancient minor will play exterior defender to play. Man, when this deck cooks, it cooks. So he's going to have to attack into us and then play his Crystal Leech, right? Uh, and I'm not, I'm not even sure what, if he's running Crystal Leech. Is right? He's so heavy into the fire theme. Everything he's doing is, is fire buffs. Fire cards, fire buffs. Another exterior defender. Another mount for it. Uh, I'm comfortable running out a mountain fort for now. I do believe exterior defender works the way you think it works. So that if you were to attack, it would pop the leftmost exterior defender first, and then your next exterior defender would cancel the next attack. Uh, I have not come into contact with a situation where that has occurred, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. So, maybe we can test it here. We'll see what he does. I'd be willing to burn an exterior defender to find out. If they both pop or if one pops. And he's going to draw again, so we're going to get a chance to find out. I'd love to see a Geo Hatchling. No. No such luck. Alright, let's uh, play our other Ancient Miner. And our other Exterior Defender, see if that works the way we think it does. So, I'm curious what everyone thinks if this is better than, equal to, less than some of the other online uh, trading card games you've played, right? Hearthstone, Hex, TCG, Magic the Gathering, uh, specifically Arena. I'm curious what you think. I thought Arena was way too busy. Uh, I like Lightseeker specifically because it is an extremely simple game uh, where the complexity and depth comes from card interactions, not from the rules. And that's what I feel like Magic is, right? I feel like the depth and complexity comes from the rules in Magic not necessarily the card interactions. <clears throat> Alright, so we got some tough choices here. He's got one, two turns before anything happens there. I think we can Geode Hashling back our Ancient Miner. Yeah, and then we can Focus Chamber the turn after while this is still in play to help us draw some more cards. And we want to Focus Chamber out. Let's see where we're at. Seven cards left in deck. So we'll draw two off Focus Chamber, release five. We're gonna draw one next turn and then two after that. So if we Focus Chamber and draw, we should be good, right? Oh, what happened? End turn, draw one. I'm sorry guys, I'm losing my mind here. 
was already thinking about next turn. I hadn't finished this turn yet. Okay, so it does work the way we thought it does. He's got to burn two cards. Interesting. Okay, let's focus chamber. Draw two. We'll put, uh, we need to go ahead and put a shatter volcano down. <clears throat> and then we will end turn draw one. Let's play the other exterior defender out. Here's my thinking on this. We're gonna draw two uh, next turn. Uh, hopefully one of those is the other Shattered Volcano, and then we can draw our last card and then combo off for the game. And we should have done there. We have to Crystal Leech these, but Exterior Defender works too. Our Mountain Fort's really protected us. Alright, we didn't see it, so that last card's got to be the other Shattered Volcano. Is that what I'm getting out of this? We haven't burned one yet this game, have we? The answer is no. So the last card in the deck is the Shattered Volcano. Let's draw it and play it. And then we have a turn to... We have something else to play. Let's play a Mountain for it. I'm going to hold on to these Crystal Leeches because we'll need one. He's at 35. We're going to have to uh, combo twice. Oh, well, never mind. So I had this planned out the entire time. Uh, you play a mountain card to rotate your two. Shatter volcanoes are out, and then you can just wrath with mountain for the win next turn. In case you guys so he's got a heal to 31. He's not going to heal for 10 this turn. Give him the good game. Right, there's, I mean, there's just no way for him to burn through our exterior defenders to get rid of our shattered volcanoes. It's a tough, tough day all around. I really like this, though. This is a crazy card. Especially if you can abuse it, like Great Daku, and rotate it forward, uh, you know, to speed it up. Fire card. That's very interesting. All right, let's finish this. Uh, we will Wrath of the Mountain for the W. Uh, I like Crushing Blow. I like Crystal Beach. Right? Good game, Armin. All right, let's see where we're at. Let's see what we're doing. That should have been all of our games. That should have been a couple of the weeklies. Level 96, that's great. So, six cards leveled up. We busted both of those wide open. Uh, three of ten here. Uh, I think Fish Singer Gushi is the uh, is the deck to play. Let's see what time it is. It's nine o'clock. Uh, should we spend some time on Fish Singer Gushi? Uh, and see if we can't drop some four cost combos? Let's look at the deck list. Uh, actually, let's just review uh, Granite real quick for those for those of us who haven't seen it. Uh, Granite's ability, increase damage done to other heroes by five if your deck is empty. Starting at 32, superiority in uh, Mountain, right? Fire Mountain uh, Crystal. So, we have Crushing Blow, fantastic right now, currently, uh, to, to be changed with Kindred. This is uh, one of the only two ways that you can interact with items, and this one specifically removes it. Uh, I believe uh, the new colorless card uh, that's coming out in Kindred removes it. I might be wrong, it could be um, the other mountain card, but I'm pretty sure it's the colorless card. So uh, that's good. Uh, it pays for Stream of Cantos, and Stream of Cantos pays for it. Uh, more importantly, Wrath of the Mountain pays for Crushing Blow. 
crushing blow almost pays for Wrath of God, right? This is the game. Um, 12 and 5, 17, uh, and it's a mountain card, so your Shattered Volcanoes both hit for 7 apiece. It's 14 and 17. I can't math right now. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's 31 damage. So uh, that normally finishes them off. Uh, if not, like you did last game, you can just beat off with a uh, <clears throat> with a mountain card to whittle them down. Uh, lava shedding is a little defensive. Uh, also, an earth guard also helps with crushing blow. Same uh, idea with magma blast. Uh, Twelve damage there. Uh, e more easily castable, I guess. Earth cards, um, but we're not running a lot of fire cards as you'll see here in a minute. Ancient Miner, uh, it's your buff. It draws cards. It's Earth. Boulder Feast is your spike healing. It's Earth. Crystal Leech is your buff removal. It's Crystal. Okay. Uh, emergency System, fantastic, right? We're going to turn uh, these on and our Tyrax Fixer, one of, on with either our Spin Blade 3000, which helps to grind out the end of the game. Uh, I've won with nothing on the board, nothing in hand, just the Spin Blade 3000 before. If you're holding less than three cards, you deal uh, three damage. It gives you a way to use uh, an ability to spend up one of your actions at the end of the game, because we get to an empty deck very fast, okay? Forge Wall is our other mech card out of tech. Reduce damage received by one if you have less than 15 health. It plays really well with our defensiveness. Uh, as I mentioned, we want to get through the deck. We're using Ancient Miners. Uh, we're using Geode Hatchlings to bring back Ancient Miners. As soon as they hit the graveyard, we'll go ahead and Geode Hatchling them back. We bring back any buff. Uh, you need emergency systems, you need exterior defenders. You can bring them back. It cancels the next attack against you. Very important because uh, everyone except for Storm, every order, uses an attack card to remove your buffs. I'm an extremely buff heavy deck. So Storm, we're a little weaker against uh, because of Thunder Slug. It's a buff, not uh, an attack card. Um, but we can bring it back if we need to with Geo Hashlings. Focus Chambers are great. They do two things. They draw you cards, and they let you put a buff into play. This helps us get around our superiority issues, right? We can't play both Shattered Volcanoes in a turn if we need to. So we use a Focus Chamber to put one into play, and then we can play the other one, uh, kind of skirting around the superiority issue we have. Mountain Ford's absolutely stable. Just stay defensive, my friends. Uh, and then Blacksmiths uh, to get our to turn our deck on, right? So that's, uh, that's Credit Control. Like I said, this is the... Uh, list that won the 2018 UK Nationals. <clears throat> Let's move over here. Uh, this is a build I built. Let me see here how many four costs we have. We only have one. It's Tornado. So this may not be the build for us, right? We want to pop off four cost combos. Uh, and there's only one in here. Let's see what other four cost combos we have. Rolling Thunder, Storm Condo. Um, is it worth swapping those in? So the point of this deck is to be very aggressive, play your combos, right? Fishing or Ushi, let's go over that. Fishing or Ushi, um, your combos cost one less. This only affects Storm Condo, so fine. So, we, we want to be as aggressive as possible and use Crystal Core as kind of our safety net, right? We're not going to do a lot of healing. Heroic Starfish heals us a little bit. Um, and then we've got by our Vitalizing Frogs, right? That's it. We're not we're not doing a lot else uh, except being aggressive. Dancing Flutterer deals damage. Dust Fiend deals damage. Also, very notably, counts as uh, any Storm element. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, any element at all, you just have to have access to the air when you cast your combo. So it makes your combos easier to cast. Uh, Spark was five damage, right? Therapeutic Yield, draw some cards. Uh, take some damage when you draw some cards. Thunder Slug, like I said, uh, fantastic buffer removal. And Umbra and Informant, draw more cards. So this whole deck is going to be extremely aggressive. Uh, I wonder if we... I mean, even 
even the buffs, right? Or the, I'm sorry, the, excuse me, the combos. 10 damage, remove all their attack cards. Electrified Deluge, 12 damage. Um, Murky Waters, 7 increases by 5, right? You pop this off uh, right away. It's uh, 12 damage, you know, to the first turn. Pitch a water card. Uh, overload, I believe it's 8. 8 damage, and you can increase this by discarding your combos. Uh, you know, this probably gives us the best chance at casting them. The other Fish Singer Ushi deck I'm considering is this Ushi Warp deck. Uh, I saw this on New2, that's NU2, his YouTube channel. Uh, extremely fun deck. It, it, it's a slower deck. It's got a couple of uh, four cost combos in it, right? And they're kind of built around them. But the point here is to use Flynamo uh, to turn on Time Worm, which brings a combo back. Uh, your last discarded combo comes back to your back to your hand, so you can cast it again. Um, he's using Storm Shaman to abuse that. Um, Dust Fiend to help cast up. He's playing very defensive. He just wants to do combo damage. Um, sure, let's showcase new twos. I believe this is exactly his move. <clears throat> let's see how it goes. Let's see how we play. Uh, let's queue up and we'll run a couple matches with this. It's got more, uh, it's got more four cost combos in it. So, uh, let's play it. That's what we're trying to do, right? That's the weekly mission is, uh, play four cost combos. You need ten. So we'll go with, uh, she warp. And we'll just, we'll see how it rides. Maybe we switch over to the uh, Crystal Core version, the aggro version. It'll be easier to win games, I think, with the aggro version, but right now we're playing to the, to the missions. We're not trying to win the games. We're trying to cast expensive combos. So Chief Steel Feather, pretty interesting. Starts with an extra card in his hand. Um, Superiority and Gravity, which is the uh, Astral's utility uh, element, so we'll see what his build is. Um, <clears throat> should be pretty interesting, not a, uh, not a normal hero, you see. Right, not one of these tier 1 heroes. Move two attack cards, guess what, buddy? We only have one. I think we lead off here with Flynamo into Bubblefish. Uh, it might be worth time walking this, but Bubblefish is going to eat most of it. So let's lead off with Flynamo. When I say time walk, I'm sorry, let me explain. Uh, what I meant was, if we play Thunder Slug, it'll remove it, and then he will not play buffs, more buffs into Thunder Slug, right? So he wastes his uh, Referencing an old magic card called Time Walk. Where the your opponent skips next. It's just draw some cards. Another bubble fish. <clears throat> That'd be nice to play really defensively. Um, we we'll probably wait a turn. We don't want to get uh, Pathfinder here if he plays like a, a lunar card or something. Just gonna draw. That's fine with us. Uh, we're willing to let him run his sun hugger into our bubble fish uh, for another turn. So let's just draw, and then we'll play out the other bubble fish. So cold snap here. Uh, five damage removed, three buffs. Castable. Uh, I don't think we want to. I think we want to bubble fish Thunder Slug and kind of utilize that time walk effect like I was talking about. Uh, you know what? We got time. Let's let him play into it. Let's let our Thunder Slugs turn on. Let's let them get better. So let's just draw a card. Right, the entire point of this deck is going to be to cast these combos. That's what we really want to do. We want to cast our four cost combos. That's what we're playing for. There's two in the deck. We need to find them. We need to cast them.
opponent deep in the tank. Uh, next turn, we'll see what he does. If he plays out one more buff, I think we run out Thunder Slug. Uh, and if not, uh, I think we just draw. We got one more turn to draw. Okay, let's do that. Let's just draw two. We got uh, one more turn uh, to answer this. Okay, Wind Seer is real nice. Let's us see their hand and pick it apart a little bit. They're planning on comboing off. Um, we don't have superiority in anything. Uh, and Flynamo no longer gives you superiority. That, that's the big uh, turn on for Flynamo uh, when it comes to the paper version of the game, right? Because it gives you an additional action with no stat restrictions. So it gives you pseudo superiority. Uh, yeah, I don't want him drawing cards, so I'm gonna go ahead and thunder slug that. Uh, I really would like to win Seer here, but that's that's just greedy, right? We just can't do it. This is gonna give him that uh, kind of skip a turn uh, feel. I don't think we need to be aggressive with Spark Wisp. I don't think we need to heal with Vitalizing Frog. Time Worm's not gonna do anything until we play one of these combos. We get another thunder slug. All right, Let's see what's going on. This is what I'm talking about, right? That's a perfect example of a time walk. He clearly, I don't know if he's digging for something, but if he had combos, I feel like he would have played them, especially if we answered with an attack card. I think Crystal Leech, Shadow Puppet, uh, any of the others, a right crazed bomber. That would have um, Reckless Spirit, the Optimist uh, overlooked Reckless Spirit. So, Right now, I, th I think we're just drawing. I think we're still drawing cards. I think we're both playing the same game here. You know what I mean? Storm Shaman's gonna be great uh, to queue up one of our combos. We have every element we could need to pay for any combo, uh, thanks to this uh, Dust Fiend, right? <clears throat> so we'll just, we'll just pump the brakes. We'll give it a we'll give it a min uh, and see if what he does, right? We essentially we have no board presence right now, and neither does he. We're both just sitting back drawing cards. Uh, throwing a Storm Shaman out uh, feels good to Cold Snap off of, but not worth, I don't think. Right? Because then we're going to spend our time where I'm going to get back our Cold Snap. It's not something we want to do. Let's see if he discards additional uh, Solars. One, two additional Solars. I don't know. I guess we're going to... Vitalizing Frog here. Uh, hopefully he just doesn't combo us again. And we'll draw a card. Warp to the screen. Uh, bounce some of their buffs, return some of our buffs, whatever the case is. Especially with that Rolling Thunder after it's done damage. That turn, we can bounce it back to our hand and recast it if we don't have an extra Time Worm. Fantastic. Uh, we might spend next turn, depending on what he does, playing Wind here. Yeah, he's gonna combo us. And Lunar. Game. Natural hit. cost combos. Uh, we'll revisit it. It's a weekly. Uh, we'll revisit it. Let's um, let's open some loot. We'll close out the stream. Uh, if you watch the YouTube video, it'll be up in a, in a couple of days. Uh, I'll probably render it tomorrow and have it uploaded. Uh, we'll do one for Granite, and then we'll do a separate video for uh, Trianu, just because uploading a three-hour video is extreme. Um, so I have a couple of videos up. If, if you have a suggestion, leave it in the comments below as far as what builds we should be using to accomplish this four-cost combo. Um, if we look at our decks, uh, Cassini Fortress, 
Black Hole Reality Rift Stellar Fusion, but you're not necessarily getting off your combos, right? Um, uh, we played This Is Triana, it's not Daku. Uh, no four cost combos this week. Dolo uh, has Wrath of the Mountain, but you're not necessarily normally going to cast it, right? You're, you're doing other stuff with Dolo. Uh, granted, you're always going to cast Wrath of the Mountain every game. This might be the way to go. We might just end up playing seven games straight with Granite, finishing with uh, Wrath of the Mountain every time. Uh, normal Sicario, hard, real hard to get your four cost combos off. Uh, your four cost combos are normally used to pay for these smaller combos. Um, not, not the best option. Uh, Sicario Soul, right? This is where we're splashing Soul. Uh, same thing, right? You have a uh, Breach the Bell and that's it. This deck, we're splashing Soul for Hold Oak, Blue Singer, and Spectral Web. Really fun deck. Uh, might need a little bit of reach. Then we have our Ushis and our Zuna deck that we played on our first stream. Um, Combat Tech Fusion, we swapped this out. Um, so that's actually not in the deck anymore. Uh, we're using an uncommon uh, attack combo attack. Let's see which one it is. Um, we are using... We don't have a scan in yet. We'll have to get a scan in Shatter Blast. We're using Shatter Blast in, in place, right? We didn't want any buffs. We wanted to be buffless. Uh, and Combat Tech Fusion is a buff. So, that's not the answer. So, I mean, if... Uh, Fish Singer doesn't work out, right? I like the Ushi Aggro deck, but it may finish before we get a chance to play that Tornado. Uh, I'm considering swapping in. Do we have Flood scanned in? Let's look. Do I own Flood? No. So what I might do is I might put in Rolly Thunder. Uh, I might put in all the four cost combos uh, into this deck, right? Tornado, Storm Conduit. Uh, Rolling Thunder and Flood, and then Avalanche, uh, and, and uh, change it up a little bit. Um, we'll see, right? Because this card draw is going to help us get there uh, to pay for these bigger combos. So this might be the with a, with some tweaking. This might be the deck uh, we play on next stream to uh, achieve our weekly again our weekly mission. Uh, play ten four cost. So we'll do that on next stream. At least seven games. Uh, if we play Granite, uh, I, I think we might try tweaking the fishing edge. Okay, let's uh, let's open up. Oh, Another spectral web. Dope. Uh, I hope they introduce dusting into the game uh, because we already have our place at a spectral piece, right? So I want to be able to like trade this in for another rare or break it down into the crafting materials right uh some of this um what are the shards uh to do that so hopefully that's the case <clears throat> dread card back that's nice Ooh, all new avatars always nice oh i'm sorry those weren't all new they were all the ones we had okay Maggot is a new avatar, though. So is the Bubblefish concept. Doesn't that look great? I love their concept. I love it. Uh, all right, and all stuff we already had. Okay, that's fine. We're, I'm down to get uh, I'm down to get extra resources here.
Alright guys, that's the stream. I really appreciate y'all checking it out. Uh, have a fantastic day.